Holy smokes, Patreon guys and gals, Hotter Sixer Sauce is now available. If you want it, log on to Patreon, sign up, it's available to all tiers. Today at number six with cheese, we're headed back to the Ghost Kitchen food truck where we got the Mr. Beast Burger, and today it's man versus fries. 75 locations around the country originated in California. Corey's getting an epic burrito with like flaming hot Cheetos and what do we get, carne asada in it, and I'm getting a quesadilla. I literally can't speak or think because I'm so excited. Also, I'm an idiot. Uh, so come with us once the order's ready. Man versus fries, a quesadilla and a burrito acquired jump cut. Uh, let's take it in for a, uh, now that I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got in this big burrito. Might be tough to look at as burritos. Oh, oh wow. my God. Look at the size of this thing, dude. Um, let me just do a cutsies. Let's just see if we can just do a fold maneuver. Ooh. Oh, hello. That's that hot Cheetos. There's carne asada in there. There's french fries in there. There's onion rings. I asked for onion rings. I don't know if they're in there. I hope so. Um, I'm not sure what the green stuff is. Maybe avocado? Yeah, guacamole or avocado, I'd assume. And uh, there's some onions I'm seeing. So there probably is onion rings. It's probably the onion I'm seeing. And I have, uh, cheese. I'm not really sure what else. I should probably look. So much. All right, now my quesadilla. And then that's the quesadilla. So French fries, carne asada, cheese. I don't know what else. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a mishmash of everything in like Mexican cuisine. It looks like it's Damn, bro. That looks good, right? For a man who hates quesadillas, that looks damn fine delicious. This would be a conversion for people. Like this would be the one that makes you go, maybe I do like And quesadillas. actually I like quesadillas. I make quesadillas all the time. I just don't like ordering them because they're so easy to make. Yeah. And then here's my quesadilla. The, oops, the, the mm -hmm. Dilla. All right, man versus fries. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh man, this is really good. Mm -hmm, me too. I mean, I'm a pothead and look at this thing. Like, I, I love hot Cheetos. I love random stuff. I love French fries, onion rings, put my burritos. That's a pothead's dream with mm. ring right there. Cheese me, cheese me. Is that what that is? My favorite type of cheese, nacho cheese, processed cheese. Mm -hmm. It's the best. The uh, less salty, the better. Stadium cheese. Stadium cheese. Oh, it's liquidy too, boys. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's even better with cheese. Oh my God. I'm gonna go with the cheese too. Oh my God. This is like a, um, that's like a zesty ranch or something. Oh, look at that cheese, bro. Mm. Oh, are you kidding me? This burrito is legit by itself. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I know, I know. Keep going. There's there a lot, go. there's a lot going on. <laughs> Please look away, everyone. With the cheese on it, it's even better. I bet. Look at that cheese, bruh. Yeah, dude, that's porn you don't have to feel bad watching. Right. In front of, you know, like if whoever you're watching this with. This is some of the best Mexican food I've ever had. I know it's not like Mexican food. This is some of the best yeah, Americanized oh. Mexican food I've ever had from California. I want to see what's all on mine. Oh my God. This is some of the best food we've had. This is like that house party you go to that has that random cast of characters and you, they don't all hang out like in high school you got the different crews. Right. When all the crews get together and everybody has a blast. So. Yeah, yes, absolutely. It's a, um, a, cause sometimes you get everybody, you get the whole crew together and it's not a blast. Yeah. Sometimes you get a bunch of different groups of people together and they clash and they fight and they argue. But sometimes you get the, the gamers mm. come and hang out with the athletes who are hanging out with the potheads who are hanging out with all the cool kids and everybody just has an absolute blast together yeah. and no one's having no clash and nothing. That's what this is. This is a party of degenerates and deliciousness getting together and having a blast inside my mouth and I love it. Okay, yours is, other than the Cheetos and the steak, fries, cheese, sour cream, guacamole, secret sauce, and a mm. side of queso. So that must be the secret sauce right there. This is sour cream. Oh, I get to put this on here? That must be what that's for. Don't worry, I didn't double dip. Are you sure? Are you no, lying? I lied. You're the king of double dip. Why do you always double dip? I don't know. I'm when a, are you going to stop double dipping? I'm a sick bastard, okay? 
I'm gonna call you out on it every time though. I know, but I'm you kinda... dip and then you move where you were biting. I know. And you know what? I had to edit a video and I got a bone to pick with you. Oh good, here we go. You want a double dip? That's fine. Mm -hmm. It's not fine, but okay. <laughs> right. But here's what is is a, I have a problem with. You double dip. I call you on your double dip, and then the second I start calling you on, you go, whoa! The classic double dip. COVID, watch. You take I the know. one end, you flip to the unbitten end, and then you mix that in. <laughs> With the world's biggest eye roll, like I'm the problem for telling you not to shove your mouth juice back into the into the the, the, the shared container. Yeah, I really uh, I really revolted against that. Go, oh, I just I edited. And I was like, I wish I would have seen that goddamn eye roll. And bro, oh, here he goes again, mm -hmm. telling me not to spit in his slop bucket. Like, bro, if you're gonna double dip. Take the consequences of being called out on your double dip. I like swapping spits with you though, so double I, dips. I don't like it. But I really do, and I don't care about your feelings. I want to swap spit with you. No. I'm gonna look at number one and keep going. This is so good, dude. The, mm -hmm. I also say this, the steak itself was really good like on its own. Like this all worked really well together, but I had a couple pieces where the steak was kind of busting out and I got to just have that. It's real tender, real good. Oh my God. I feel like I failed man vs. fries by not being able to talk about their burrito so much. <laughs> we got into a real side topic about double dipping. Yeah. It's also, uh, it really, your argument really stands true during a pandemic. Yeah! <laughs> We're a goddamn pandemic! <laughs> Alright, before we go ahead and rate the item that we each had here today for man vs. fries, let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a merch store. We've got all kinds of awesome stuff. You guys already know that we've got the uh, Patreon. Currently can buy our, our hotter hot sauce, which is out there. We've also got shirts, hats, bubba, koozies, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we can uh, also, we have a hot sauce subscription where we send you uh, hot sauce every month to your doorstep. And here's a couple of people who have that hot sauce subscription. And once you get that, you get your name set first. Merch shot number one goes to Mr. Irving De La Cruz. Irving bought the hot sauce subscription, getting that every single month. Irving, thank you. And merch shot number two goes to Mr. Garrett Lennox. Garrett is a fine gentleman. He's a huge supporter of us. Uh, comments all the time. Awesome dude. Um, we sent out his, he's got the hot sauce subscription too. Mm -hmm. We sent that to Sacramento, California. So Ooh. I wonder, he might be aware of the uh, man versus fries or at least have access to it. I hope so. Yeah. Um, but Garrett, hope you're loving that hot sauce uh, uh, every month. Number six with cheese.com, you dudes. Buy stuff off the site. All right, time to rate. Uh, Corey had the burrito, I had the quesadilla, man versus fries. I think Adam Richmond. I think man versus food. Out of five Adam Richmonds, how many Adam Richmonds do you give the SoCal burrito you had for about 15, 14 bucks? Corey. Well, this was amazing. It was a delicious, amazing burrito. Uh, I do want to pile, apologize to man versus fries and to our fans. I don't feel like I got an opportunity to give this the love and attention it deserved during this video. As If you guys can't tell, I hate double dipping. He's not a big fan. And I also hate people who double dip and then don't take responsibility. Yeah, I kind of, in order to think about it too, like I definitely don't mind it as much. And that's not, I shouldn't oh, project that into somebody so else. So disgusting. I'm, with somebody I'm close with, I really don't mind it. But yes, mm -hmm. there's no way that you're wrong. So I want to apologize <laughs> that we didn't give this the the episode it really deserved. I wish I, sh I should have spent more time talking about how amazing this is. The hot Cheetos were great. All the flavors were great. Like I said, it was like a party of degenerates and outcasts that didn't really belong together, but honestly kind of do deep down inside. They fit together to make it just this delicious, delicious treat that went inside my little, my little mouth gutter box here. And um, I mean, I gotta give that, dude, I gotta give that a freaking five. Yeah. That's I worth it. Is the end of this episode kind of like the Breakfast Club? You know, it's like everybody you realize you're all, you're all one and the same, right? Um, that quesadilla was perfect. It was spicy. It was crispy. It was cut into four huge equal sizes. Like a lot of times quesadillas are made, the two end pieces are kind of whatever, and then all the meat kind of gets pushed to the middle. That thing was just you, you could tell they did it correctly. Uh, that was worth fifteen dollars, honestly. Like that was great. I'm going five, dude. I don't, there's nothing to tick it for. Like it, you know, there's no boxes that they didn't check uh, for good, and I appreciate that. So let us know if you guys have had Man vs. Fries. Uh, it's on a lot of the delivery apps, so see if it's in your town. Let us know what you think of it. See if there's anything else on the menu that we, maybe we snag in the future after we've done every restaurant in the world. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, we're headed to Jake Melnick's. Downtown Chicago, a lot of people say it's the best wings in the country, a lot of people say for sure in the city. We'll see what we think of it. Come on back tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Don't double dip anywhere near Corey or your balls will be removed from your pelvis region. Goodbye.